Hi guys, it's Navdeep from Delhi Immigration Services. Today we have Mr. Sham Vedha, who got the Canada study visa after two refusals, uh, and we will just talk to him and see how his overall profile is and how he's become a successful candidate. Uh, Mr. Sham, uh, many congratulations to you, sir. First of all, that you've got the approval after two refusals. Uh, how's you feeling now? I'm feeling very good, sir. Very happy. All right, all right. And uh, can you take us through your academic uh, background and overall profile? The background you also applied twice previously, and also for which programs did you apply earlier? Sir? Okay, so first of all, I will start with my name. My hi, myself Sham Huda. I basically belong to Chandigarh. So if I talk about my academics, so uh, after my twelfth, I decided to do BCA from Chitkara University, which I completed in two thousand seventeen. So after that, uh, I changed my mind uh, from different from the computer uh, and IT things. So I'm planning for my uh, government jobs because uh, after 12th, if I talk about my father totally denied to going abroad. So I dropped that plan. After that, uh, I start preparing for government jobs. But uh, unfortunately, the pandemic hits. So yeah. yeah. So uh, at that time, I try to convince my father again because there are a lot of uh, students going to abroad after that because the lack of opportunities in government jobs and in another sectors in India. Okay. So uh, after convincing him, uh, in when after few days, my father told me that uh, yes, you can go abroad if you have plans. So then I start preparing to going abroad. Uh, so first, uh, I start preparing for IELTS and I scored six point five bands. So right. after that, uh, I applied for supply chain management. Right. So at that time, it's November 2021, and they told me that they, I got the offer letter for January intake for Northern College. Okay. So oh. it's like period of one and a half month. So I don't have that much idea about that. So uh, it's very first time for me. So I didn't do that much research about that. Right, so right. I trust that agent, and uh, she uh, guided me accordingly. She applied my uh, all all of the details and for my visa. Right. So I got my update for visa like approaching Feb, and it was my Jan intake, but I got my visa in Feb, which is a rejection. Okay. So it's the first time for me, and uh, like it totally broke me. I did not able to understand what actually happening with me. So I start doing some research about that. What is actually happening? Happening. So I got to know that it's happening due to a pandemic. So there are a lot of files applied in uh, last two years. So Canada is not able to give that much easily visa to students. So uh, my yeah. father told me that we have to change our agent. And uh, one of my father friend uh, told me about another agent. So we correct him. So he told me that your uh, program is good. It's relevant for your BCA program because Northern College is uh, uh, offering with BCA and another IT sectors also. So I uh, you applied. Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt. You applied for a supply chain management at Northern College, right? Yes, in Northern College. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what are you? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt. What are you working? Did you start working when you applied for Northern College or for the visa or? Or you were just preparing for exams and then you start, then you applied for the visa. How was the? After my IELTS exam, I start working with sales job. Based. It's basically a relationship manager job, CRM job. Okay. So they told will help me uh, with supply chain management. But if I okay. think that there is there no any relevancy with supply chain management and sales job, so I go with that. Uh, he replied, uh, reapply my visa. So I got my second refusal. Uh, like in September, so right. it's very like very unfortunate yeah. thing. Difficult. Me, yeah. But that time, uh, one of friend, uh, you also know him, uh, Vikas father. Vikas father uh, told me my father that you can apply with <laughs> with you. So because he got visa after like three to four refusals, I think after three refusals. Yeah. So act with you after that, I got an opportunity to get the visa in the first take. So it's a very like hard volume thing with, for me and very thankful to you. So I get the vision very first take. And uh, this time you applied for project management at Algoma University. And um, what is the current designation that you're working at right now? I think you're working customer experience to me, isn't it? Customer relationship still yes, you're working. At, okay. You're working as customer relationship uh, executive, if I'm not wrong. 
and you applied for project management uh, you have got it in the first attempt uh, first of all many congratulations to you i i completely understand you know you know what it takes to go through the difficult uh, refusals and then you know and the joy of having the approval in the third attempt so i can totally resonate um, when exactly you saw the updates uh, recently only or how much time it took for you to get the uh, visa decision in the third attempt so when did you notice what were you doing at the time okay so basically the thing that happened after applying my for my third visa application i check after 30 days free fund loan daily basis for my update but uh, i'm like i'm totally uh, waiting for my visa update because one of my friend is also applied with the with after me like 20 to 25 days after me so he got refusal and mm-hmm. I totally disappointed about that because the thing same thing I'm also thinking that maybe yeah. I will get the refusal and it's my third attempt. So uh, in the morning uh, I woke I woke up at like six o'clock in the morning. So yeah. I I think that I have to check about my visa. Maybe I will get any update. So I can check. There are two notification for my GC key. So yeah. first. Uh, when i open that i am not able to understand what is actually i download that pdf and after that i can and i'm totally jumped out of my bed <laughs> like i'm screaming that i have got my visa so i yeah. am not able to express my feelings that how yeah. much i feel, yeah. feel that yeah so yeah. it's because of you so yeah. i am very thankful to you sir yeah i think you you it was in your destiny you anyway had to go so we were just knew you know did what we knew and um, anyways many congratulations to you to your family to your father who supported you throughout you know it's it's very difficult to go through that phase uh, so uh, you have seen now three applications you know first two and third as well so what do you think we have done differently according to you based on your learnings that you may have learned a lot throughout the process so what do you think we have done differently which helped you to get the visa and what other applicants might keep in mind while preparing for the application so that they are not making the mistake so anything from your learnings would be great if you can advise on that okay so uh, i want to give advice like that you if you get opportunity to go abroad so first thing you don't have to do panic and you have don't have to do things in very sudden you have to do research by yourself yeah. you to research, do research about your academics and your future goals because like the, if both things are not relevant you will not get your visa because canada at that time we also know that the canada are giving a lot of refusals they are finding a very little mistake so they can give the every refusal the mistake i did i follow the different program uh, it's very totally different about my academics right, so right. after that ask you about the, the best relevant program i did the research by myself also and i also do the job on the same uh, thing so right. after that i get to get the visa yeah yeah, yeah. okay and um, uh, any other differences you might have felt which you know you saw in the third application and were not there in the first two which you think that may have helped the officer to to approve it maybe you know so be it documentation be it maybe program selection so anything which you may have learned overall uh, you know anything else which you can suggest other students uh, maybe more so that they can keep things in mind so the very first thing is that you have to trust on the very uh, like genuine person you have to don't you don't have to trust any person blindly just just yeah. i trusted Oh, uh, you helped me a lot. You guided me accordingly. At any time I ask you, you can guide me accordingly. You can uh, like guide me all the steps accordingly, step by step. So uh, I'm not get misguided from anyone. So yeah. yeah, that's very important thing to trust anyone. And thank you very much for taking time and uh, many congratulations to you once again uh, for the approval. And you know, it, it's a great. news that you also wrote to us the same day when you sent an email and then we <laughs> sort of discussed that what exactly it is and uh, very happy for you sir very happy for you great uh, you. i wish you the great uh, for further life in canada and all the very best in case of any more questions queries feel free to connect with us we have to help no problems thank you so much sir all right take care have a good day sure bye bye